Good afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it may be that you are, or time of day that you're watching. It's 4.50 right now in the afternoon. Don't mind my baby face. I uh, got in a fight with my beard trimmer and the beard trimmer decided that it was going to mess with me. So, got the baby face going. But, wanted to jump on here real quick and I've uh, been asked to do my thoughts and opinion on the ancient moccasins. It's an American main company. They're stocking shoes to kind of, when you get really close to an animal, you slip them on and you go in for the final approach. Um, I absolutely love them. I have yet to use them on an actual hunt. Um, well, a hunt for big game. Um, I've used them around town, just kind of getting a feel for them. And then I used them uh, three times now on some shed hunts um, with an average of about five miles. Um, some of them have actually been more than that or minimum of five miles. Uh, I think one of them was seven miles. Um, so this is the ones I got here. Suede bottom, leather top, camo up top, um, suede interior. The soles are suede and then like a foam and then a leather inside. So it's three layers of protection on the bottom of your feet. And um, they've been insanely comfortable throughout everything I've worn them for. Worn them to work a couple times um, back before they weren't all hemmed up. But um, yeah, obviously there's not any like arch support or anything that you'd get from a standard hunting boot they are essentially I, I made a joke with my kids they're kind of like the flint lockwood spray on shoes um, from Cody with the chance of meatballs they fit your shoe or fit your foot very very well and they're so light you really don't even know that they're there um, when I was shed hunting I did a lot of uphill and downhill some in rocky terrain some in um, oak canopies side hills where it's about anywhere from six to a, six inches to a foot deep of soft soil as well as oak leaves on top. Um, I walked along down trees, a bunch of branches. I really tried to put them to the test to see how they do in any sort of the terrain, especially out here in California where deer season for us, or for me at least, is A zone. So it's going to be July, August, September. And um, it's going to be hot, dry, and uh, there's going to be some trees on the ground. You're going to get the star thistles that you're going to have to go through. And there's just going to be a lot of stuff that you're going to have to kind of traverse around and deal with. And these shoes did extremely well. I'll turn you around here. So as you can see, they're hand-sewn. Um, by a guy named Andrew. I believe he's out of Arizona or New Mexico, but um, ancient, it's A-N-X-Y-N-T, super uh, subtle embossing on the side. You don't really notice it much. You can see I've really beat on them on the rocks. Um, here they got some marring and whatnot. And uh, the suede's just been super good. Now, if you do walk around town, this will start getting matted down a bit. Um, what I do is we have a like a welcome mat at the house that's up front, it's like a real uh, thick bristle pad, and I'll rake that on that to kind of fluff this back up. But overall, these shoes have been exquisite. I have zero issues with them. Um, I do wish that they did come in a waterproof model so that I can actually wear them early mornings when there's uh, dew on the ground and I wouldn't have to worry about my feet getting wet. But other than that, these things are amazing. Um, one thing to notice or to take in is this right here is a seam. And if you are walking through um, any sort of sand or dirt, like heavy, heavy dirt where your foot's gonna be under it um, or any sort of sand, you might get some 
um, debris inside your shoe from these seams. It's not going to be much, um, but I did notice it when I was took the kids to the park and got some sand in there a little bit. wasn't a big deal. Um, you're not going to be burying your feet or anything um, when you're hunting. But they come with leather straps. They're actually surprisingly more durable than I was expecting. I was expecting to break these, but I haven't done that yet. And um, they've been... They far exceeded my expectations. I'm a size 12 and a half in every shoe, boot, and everything. Um, he does not do half sizes. And what he says is the, to size down, actually. The shoes are typically a little bit larger to begin with. And they're, like in the toe box here, it's just a little bit more. And then they're snug on the sides. And what that does is when you wear the shoe, the leather's going to form to your foot. And after wearing them quite a bit, I 100% agree. My foot forms, or this formed to my foot perfectly. Um, I don't notice anything when I have them on. They're super comfortable. I wear the same Merino socks I'd wear if I'm wearing my Krispies. And um, they've just been absolutely fantastic. I think um, the price point's right around 170 if I'm not mistaken, right around there. And um, totally worth it, to be honest with you. Um, you can wear them if it is dry all day. No issues whatsoever. Um, you're not going to get any stick stickers or anything through the bottom of your shoe. You're not going to get any sort of issues with anything puncturing it unless maybe you step on glass or some sort of needle and if you're going through some really horrible part of town but um if you're out in the woods i am 100 percent confident in these shoes um i know for a fact that i'm going to be wearing them a lot during deer season especially if i'm doing any of those afternoon hunts after work where um the ground is dry 100 percent um, in the mornings, I'll probably wear my boots, um, mostly because you get that dew on the vegetation when you're walking through. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to be wearing these a lot. These are probably one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I have. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, hit me up with anything. Again, um, super awesome shoe. I put, them, put a lot of miles on them in the last couple weeks and uh, just super, super impressed with them. So hope you guys have a good one. Hope that helps. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, and uh, I'll try to get more uh, gear reviews out there for you.